guys, it's Kat. Today I have lots of things to give a quick update on. Also, my neighbors probably think it's really weird because I have one single window in my house that doesn't have curtains on it. And I'm sitting on my couch with a ring light and camera in front of me. <laughs> this is probably looks really weird to any outside perspective. But that's completely besides the point. Oh, I got a camera. So that is a little bit of an update. I have said I've been trying to get one for a while and I finally got one. Actually, I was about to get myself one and my family surprised me with it for Christmas, which was really thoughtful of them because I've been working towards getting one. <laughs> it just takes time and money and, you know. Lots of good stuff has been happening recently. I don't like to talk about it a lot just because, like, I like to kind of work in quiet until I achieve my goals and then post them. But at the same time, I want to document what's going on in my life to potentially help others that are in my situation. So I'm officially going back to school after taking a year and a half off and technically only a half a year because of my original graduating class and I'm going over the summer too, hopefully. That's my game plan, we'll see. And I'll be caught back up with my original graduating class. The thing is, is that starting mid-year, I kind of decided last minute so my financial aid stuff isn't together very well. I'm a little bit stressed out but just trusting in God because I know that there's a plan and everything will work out the way it's meant to even if it's not the way I anticipate. <laughs> I do plan on going for nursing. That was a big debate. Actually, the thing is, I didn't think I was good enough. For the longest time, I thought that like, I wasn't smart enough. Everybody tells me how hard nursing school is. And I was like, I don't, I don't know that I can do it. I don't think I'd make it. But finally, I was just like, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna try. And even if it takes me multiple tries, I will get there. I will achieve my goals. I will do this for me and Mari. I don't care if people think I'm a bad mom because I don't get to spend enough time with her because I'm going to have to work and go to school at the same time. I'm going to do what's best for me and her's future and I'm done caring about what others think. I say that, but I'm going to try not to let others' opinions and input get to me. Plus, the people that are close to me support me no matter what, so. I mean, obviously if I'm doing something really bad, they're like gonna be like, mm, don't think you should do that. <laughs> There's that. And then on top of it, I've been contingent, PRN, as needed, at my job. I've been working very random hours, shifts, um, different units. I'm finally going to take a part-time position. It's only three days per pay period, and I can just pick up, you know, more hours, because there's pretty much always hours I can pick up. Um, but it's only three days that I have to be there, and it's a set schedule on its first shift, so that way it's more convenient for Mari. First shift tends to be a more family-friendly schedule anyways, kind of. Um, I'll be going to work when she's asleep. She won't wake up till probably a little bit into my shift and then um, she'll take a nap probably like you know as long as she's taking a nap while I'm also at work so then like she'll get home and she'll have money. <laughs> Plus uh, my school schedule kind of goes with that too. I do have later classes this semester but I also have online classes so I'll have time to do it before and after hopefully. And then I am still keeping my insurance job and I can do school while I'm at the office so I can work in the office like a typical 9 to 5 and do school work while I'm there. Obviously some days that's going to be harder than others, but that is the beauty of it. I also had this really awesome thing that happened. I don't want to brag about stuff, but it's just like I was really struggling last month. I posted a video on it. I didn't really get too much into detail. I've also had some crazy things happen as far as story time wise that are going to be quite entertaining. Let's just say dating as a teen mom, well in general dating is kind of crazy nowadays with hookup culture and Tinder. Story time coming for now, it's, I'll leave it at that. But I have a different story time that's irrelevant to Tinder as well. So that person watches this. I had a really cool situation happen, I don't really want to talk about it too much. I'm going to make a different video on it. but. Let's just say you might be having the worst day of your life. You think that it'll never get better. But you don't know if tomorrow is going to be the best day that you've ever had. It gets better. It always gets better. Like, I've been really struggling recently because this month I cut off all medications. No mental health medications. No birth control. No nothing. Part of that's because I lost my insurance. But it was kind of just encouraging me to finally take the break that I wanted for my body. I've been on birth control for a year now. I've been on different medications on and off for a year now for um, my mental health stuff. I want to try to get my body to be able to like regulate and just go more natural routes with things like exercising more, eating a more balanced diet. Not like necessarily restricting anything or dieting, but 
eating a healthy, balanced diet with a little more activity, which is the nice thing about this watch. I feel so weird because I'm so full of gadgets right now and I'm like, I just feel too modern for my own liking because I am a bit more old fashioned with a lot of things. Like I really love to handwrite letters. That's something that's like really important to me. But I, I just love like actually writing on paper. I like a lot of that stuff. But this tracks like my sleep, my steps, and like now I'm going to try to use this. I'm going to make New Year's resolutions. So I don't typically, or I will, and they're kind of like just silly ones because like you're not going to stick to them. But I want to make smart goals. It's irrelevant to being the new year. I just happen to get inspired to do this with the new year coming and big changes happening within this new year. We shall see about that. I will have plenty of videos to hopefully come out. The problem is I'm still figuring out this thing. So if these are bad, this is also my second time filming this video because <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to work this thing properly. But hopefully this is a better quality than normal videos. If anyone has any tips, this is the Canon Rebel or EOS Rebel T7i, 7Ti. Let's see it says it on it. T7i. The Canon EOS Rebel T7i. <laughs> I also have an external mic that I'll eventually figure out how to use. I just want to figure out this one thing at a time. So my quality of my content should be getting better. I want to start planning stuff out better. The problem with it's going to be is I'm going to be a lot more busy. Mariana's going to be able to get into more activities now that she's going to be a year and a half in March. I'll hopefully be able to get her involved with more because, you know, mom duties come first. But that also might mean more vlogs. What is this? I talk with my hands a lot. Ugh. And then there's a lot of the stuff behind the scenes that I can't even, like, talk to you about. I kind of already mentioned in one video that about my grandma and, like, like chemo issues. But hopefully she's almost done with chemo, I believe, and then she gets some time off and then starts radiation. And then hopefully, please, please be done with it all. I just, I want our lives back to normal. I want my grandma back. Like, it's been rough. Like, mom is now in a boot. She's off crutches, but she's in a boot, and hopefully her foot's healing. We need to do races. We got stuff to do. These health problems are quite annoying, inconveniencing. First world problems, stupid struggles of relatively healthy people. <laughs> you know, I am thankful for our overall health. That's awesome. I'm glad that we all are, like, pretty healthy. I will say the mental health thing has been quite a concern for me, but I do work with a therapist and I'm trying to figure it out and that's why I'm taking other methods to try to figure it out and it just takes time. You have to give yourself time. Things take time. You can't just and be different and fixed and better. It takes time. And you gotta heal from stuff that's happened in your past that could potentially be why you're acting the way you are now. But you have to admit it. The first step is admitting it that you have a problem. So you, And then you gotta figure out where that problem stems from or at least figure out you know what causes the problem, take that and change your perspective on it and you know deal with it that way and work through it all. You can't just ignore something and think it's gonna fix itself. Some things maybe, but now with different mental health struggles. I don't really have much I can share on that. I, um, I think I've been pretty open about the fact that I have a lot of anxiety issues. He didn't officially diagnose me with OCD, but he said that like it's that's what it is like they go hand in hand and then I do have a lot of anger issues I know that that could be a shock to some people but if you see how happy positive peppy energetic I am it can also be the reversed so that has been my biggest thing I'm trying to control the anxiety I take it out of myself anger goes towards other people so <laughs> neither are good neither are okay but I'm working on fixing it part of my issue is I haven't gone to the gym in over a month I was going like every day and then I got sick and then it just kind of came crashing down so I need to fix that again because I do feel a lot better when I'm actually being more active and then I like set like goals for myself for like steps and stuff I keep looking at my watch because I don't I'm not I don't wear bracelets I don't wear rings I don't wear necklaces hardly ever actually I don't ever wear <laughs> necklaces I do wear earrings I got these for my birthday and then I have my red, I have one specific set of earrings, it's these red little balls from a small shop in my hometown where I live and I love them to just spice up an outfit. But now I've been big into like hair scrunchies and bows which is also really cool. Follow my Instagram. I did change my name on Instagram. It's Katrina Larsmith. Larsmith, whatever you want to say it, however you want to say it. But that's what it is. Um, I don't really want to explain the name of it. I just wanted it to be me. 
and then like the name on it is like cat with a rainbow. I feel like that accurately describes me. <laughs> My bio does. <laughs> kind of. But I post quite a bit on there. Like quite a bit. Because it's a lot easier to post. Not as much editing or anything to do. I've even been spicing it up with some singing videos. <laughs> not that I'm some talented singer or anything. I just do it for fun. Just like pretty much everything I do. I'm not like super talented at anything I do. I just do it. <laughs> do what makes you happy. Also, I'm in the process of turning my house into more toddler friendly instead of baby friendly. Because the baby friendly wasn't cutting it anymore. It needs to be more toddler directed. Toddler, what is the word I'm looking for? I hate what happens. Toddler oriented? I don't know. But it's more Montessori based per usual. This is even more though. I will admit that I do let her watch TV. I don't want anyone to think that I don't let her play with electronics and watch TV. She has severe eczema. If something's comforting her when she's having like a really bad flare up, I don't care what it is if it gives her relief from scratching her skin to the point where it's bleeding. Like. If that comforts her, it comforts her. Same with why I'm not taking away the bank yet. I wanted to do all this and take away the sleep sack, but now with the health issues. To each their own, but um, some people have an easier time with doing that. And if I'm a bad mom, that's fine. My baby is well taken care of, and that's all I care about. Enough on that tangent. <laughs> I also made a TikTok, but I don't think that's gonna last. I just feel like that's really not the place I need to be. I wanna get more involved with stuff than I already am, but the problem is, <laughs> I do so much, like I spread myself too thin all the time. If you want to know like dating as a teen mom, Montessori stuff, how I deal with her eczema, also update on that, she had a really bad flare up and hives, like the worst I've ever seen it, she was so red, rashes, like it was bad, her body was covered. She's on, she's getting a little bit better, she's on like steroids and stuff, it's not the ideal situation, I try to limit the chemicals me and her put in our bodies, but there's only so much you can do, like I still eat fast food, I can't say much. I just, you know, limit stuff as much as I can with trying to take care of us and convenience. She goes back in January and we're going to hopefully get some allergy testing done and hopefully get some answers. We are working with a new allergist. I totally forgot to update you guys on any of this. So if this is a little choppy, it's because I flipped stuff around. But we will hopefully get answers soon. I will probably do an 18 month update. I think I did a year one. I don't know. I can't remember. Or maybe I tried to and just within a video or just like it wasn't a big update not a ton changed but I feel like a lot's changed from a year to well I'm sure a lot more will change by March that's when she turns a year and a half and she'll be getting more involved with stuff I think that's it on my update thank you so much for watching if you have any tips videos you want to see questions um, I have a lot more content that could potentially be coming up it's just you know, actually being able to film it and get it together that's it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed don't forget to give this video a like share with your friends add some input down below Bye! Oh god! Ow! Ow! I was kneeling and sitting on my feet for way too long. Ow!